YouTube. Welcome back to another video. My name is Eddie Scott, AKA Say Less Ed. Welcome to the channel for my returning subs. I appreciate you coming back. Welcome to another video. Y'all know to be ready for this heat that's coming. So be sure to hit that like button. For all my new people out there, welcome to the channel. Just a little bit about who I am. Started a clothing brand two years ago with my cousin back during the quarantine and have since grown it from zero dollars, zero followers, literally nothing. It's now becoming a six figure business with over half a million followers on TikTok and 80K on Instagram. And just continue to grow and expand. And everything I learned in my entrepreneurship journey from mindset to hacks, tips, tricks, whatever, I'm here to share with y'all. So for my new people, be sure to subscribe, hit that subscription button and be sure to turn on post notifications so that you never miss another video. But hey, without any further ado, y'all see the title. The number one way to make money in 2023 is not what you think it is. And you know, in today's day and time, everybody wants to know how to get money. Everyone wants to know how to get to a bag. If you go on Google right now, if you go on YouTube and type in how to, probably the first search that's gonna come up is how to make money. And this number one way right here is what separates, you know, the average individual who keeps wishing and hoping that they'll make money from the rich, the wealthy, who have unlocked this secret and activate this secret in their life every single day. So I'm not gonna hold you on suspense any longer. The number one way to make money in 2023 simple you have to know your purpose know your purpose knowing your purpose is the number one way to make money hey if that's too simple for you right there feel free to click off the video go find something else but if you want to know what i'm talking about you want me to break down why this is the number one way to make money keep watching the video so hey why is purpose the way to make money why do i say that purpose is the number one way to make money you know one phrase that i you know i love to say is purpose over profit Purpose is greater than profit. So what do I mean by that? Your desire to fulfill your purpose should be greater than your desire to make money. As I said, everybody in today's day and age wants to know how to make money. There's so many ways to make money out here. There's so much opportunity. We literally live in the greatest time in human history to make money. And with that being said, it's so easy to run around to go left and right to do this and that and that trying to find a way to make a quick buck. You know, whether it be drop shipping, YouTube, influencer marketing, affiliate marketing, building a marketing agency, building a clothing brand. Like there's so many different ways to make money out there. And unfortunately, a lot of people in today's times just kind of test out different things because they don't really know their purpose. And so in their pursuit of profit, in their pursuit of money, they're losing sense of this purpose, which is therefore causing them to lose the money. So another way to look at this is not only purpose over profit, but this arrow is purpose to profit. Your purpose will lead you to the profit. And I'm gonna break down what I mean by purpose. Purpose is your reason why. If you have a business, what's your reason why? Why did you start your business? If you have a clothing brand, why are you starting your clothing brand? If your only reason why is to make money, the money's not gonna come. Your reason why has to be so much bigger than that. How are you making other people's lives better? If you wanna to get to e-commerce, what product are you selling that's going to make somebody else's life better? Don't just start a Shopify store because you wanna make 10K in a month and drive this car to impress other people. No, that's not what it's about. When you chase money, money runs away from you. But when you pursue purpose, then it's gonna to lead to the profit. What's that vision that you have? Everybody came to this earth with a vision. Everybody came to this earth with a dream. Everybody came to the earth with a purpose of how they're gonna make somebody else's life better. This life is not just about us. When your focus is to improve the lives of other people, to put others before yourself, that's when you feel the greatest. That's when you feel the most fulfilled. And that's when everything else comes. If you're doing something that's helping other people, whatever you need to help those people is going to naturally come to you. Everything you need to achieve your purpose is going to come to you. So if you need money to fulfill your purpose, if you need money to impact people, if you need money to make the world a better place, then money's gonna come to you. There's a lot of things in life that are more important than money. 
If you need relationships to help you fulfill your purpose, relationships will naturally come to you. If you need opportunities to help you fulfill your purpose, the opportunities are gonna come to you. But you have to first know what your purpose is. You know, with my clothing brand, Sailor's Lifestyle, that I started with my cousin, you know, when we first started, it was all, we had this backward. We were doing profits of purpose. We were like, we knew that we had a purpose. We knew that our motto was to motivate and inspire people to do more and say less. That was our motto from the jump. But we were so focused on trying to get a sale. We were so focused on trying to sell clothes that we were kind of neglecting the purpose behind our brand. And so, you know, when we first started off, we were doing all right. We would maybe get an order here and there, but it wasn't like really consistent. and wasn't really a viable business. But you know, one day we sat down and my cousin and I were like, yo, this is it right here. We need to stop focusing so much on money. We know the money's gonna come. We just need to focus on this right here. We need to focus on the purpose. How are we making people's lives better with this brand? And I promise you in every aspect of our business, from the day we made this decision is the day our brand took off. With money, as soon as we we're like, all right, let's just put out the best content, let's put out the best clothes that's fulfilling the purpose of our brand to motivate people to do more and say less. Work in silence, which is also the talking. As soon as we started putting this first, we maybe jump from like one order a week to one order a day. And as we kept putting this purpose first, we kept increasing, we kept becoming more clear on what this purpose was. We went from one order a day to one order an hour. We're getting templates orders a day. We just kept going from there as we continue to provide more value to people. Even in our social media, we were just chasing, not necessarily profit, but on social media, people chase views. And we were chasing views. We were chasing, trying to go viral. And so we were just doing whatever the trend was, you know. We just record ourselves, you know, doing some trendy dance, you feel me? And so as soon as we came to this decision in our business, even with our content, we were sitting at like 2K followers on TikTok. As soon as we made this decision, the very next video we posted, I promise you, I kid you not, the very next video we posted got 500K views in a week. 100K views on our first day. Because we stopped trying to go viral. We stopped chasing what was on the other end of this equation and started chasing this. Started chasing purpose. Focusing on how we can best motivate people to go after their goals, to say less and do more putting that brand message first. And that's what has made our brand, made our business what it is today, because we put this purpose first before the profit. Money, business, life in general is all about value. What value are you providing to somebody else? The law of compensation. I learned this from Bob Proctor and Earl Nightingale. Rest in peace to both of them. The law of compensation states that you are rewarded in direct proportion to the amount of value that you provide. So if you're providing little value, you're gonna have little rewards. But if you look at somebody like Jeff Bezos, creating a powerhouse company such as Amazon, he is extremely valuable to the world because he created a business that everybody needs and that everybody uses every single day. And so that's why he has been rewarded as such because he became more valuable. So if you want more money, become more valuable. And you find value in your purpose. Like the title says, it's not what you think. This isn't some video about how to start a Shopify store or how to run TikTok ads. No, it goes deeper than that. You have to have that mental transformation. It's all about mindset. So know your purpose. And your purpose will lead to the profit. Last thing I'm going to say on purpose. Purpose will keep you motivated throughout the journey. When you're first starting out, even if you're seasoned in the game, there's going to be down seasons. There's going to be days where you get zero orders in your business. There's going to be times where you're thinking about quitting because it's so hard. If your sole focus is just trying to make money, you're just going to go chase the next thing that could possibly make you money. And so your business is going to fail. When you have that purpose, you have that reason why that people are depending on you to provide value to them, whether it's through a clothing brand, whether it's through a skincare line, whether it's through a product that you sell, whether it's through a book that you write, whether it's through a song that you sing, any way that you're providing value to people, those people are always going to drive you in your head and in your heart to keep pushing, to keep going, because those people are depending on you. The world needs the gift that's inside of you. Not only will purpose keep you driven during the bad times, keep going, but even more importantly, during the good times. The average person today, if you gave them 100K in a month, they would lose all sense of purpose in their life. They would lose all sense of drive and fire in their life. They would get complacent. If you look at the most successful, ultra wealthy people today, I was just having a conversation with my roommate about this. 
What stops Elon Musk? What keeps Jeff Bezos? What keeps Mark Zuckerberg from be becoming complacent? They have all the money. Like they can't ask for any more money. So what keeps them driven every single day to wake up every single day and keep going after their goals? It's obviously not. It's obviously not this. It's obviously not the profit because they got enough of that. They can't ask for any more of that. It's something deeper than that. It stems from this sense of purpose. Every highly successful person has a high sense of purpose. And that's what will keep you driven, even during the good times. That will stop you from becoming complacent because you know that it's not about the money. It's about the people that you're here to serve through your business. <sighs> hey, so to wrap it up, purpose over profit is the name of the game. Yes, you can have profit without purpose, but that's not gonna leave you fulfilled. You know how many wealthy people have came throughout this world and have hated their lives, have been miserable. Some unfortunately have even committed suicide. Why is that? People look at, you know, actors and, you know, very successful business people and wonder how could somebody that successful kill themselves? Yeah, they had all the money, but they didn't have that sense of purpose that was driving them to make other people's lives better. And in turn, that's what will make their own life better. Never forget your purpose. Never forget your reason why. If you're still discovering your purpose, if you're still discovering your reason why, it's a journey, it's a process. So take your time with it day in, day out. Just ask yourself, what is my purpose? Ask God, what is my purpose? And he will show you. So with that being said, I just wanted to record a short video for y'all, you know, just encouraging y'all, motivating y'all to put that purpose before the profit. Don't just chase the money. Don't just pursue the bag. Yes, you, that, that could be a good motivator. You know, if you want to get it for your family or you want to build a better life for yourself, that's good. But if it just stays at that, it's never going to be complete. You have to have that underlying sense of purpose that's bigger than just you. Because there's people out there that are depending on the gift that's inside of you. And we're just waiting for you to reveal it to the world. So with that being said, thank y'all for watching another video. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Everyone be sure to turn on post notifications. Let me know, leave a comment if y'all want more videos like this, you know, more mindset videos. Hey, be sure to tap in on social media, at Sayless Ed on Instagram, at the Sayless Ed on TikTok. More importantly, be sure to go tap in with my Telegram. Text me, the link is gonna be right here. Daily morning motivation messages. Once we had a thousand people on that Telegram, I'm gonna start a paid Discord soon. More info on that to come, but be sure to tap in with the Telegram, it's free. Click the link right there. If you're not on my Telegram, I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry for you, but hey, that being said, I'm out of here. Y'all have a blessed one. Keep that purpose over the profit. Let's get it. Let's go.